As a front-end developer, one of the most valuable debugging tools at your disposal is built right into your browser. In this video, we're going to define what these tools are and show you how to access them. This information is something you can use in the development and testing cycle of each and every app you create. So, let's get started. The developer tools in your browser, or dev tools as they're called, are a set of utilities that are in all major browsers that give you the ability to view and manipulate both the DOM and CSS, debug JavaScript code, view messages in the console, and analyze the technical footprint of your application, including its network activity, performance characteristics, responsiveness, and accessibility attributes. Now, in some cases, like debugging options, this will be driven by actions that you'll need to take. But in other cases, like performance, responsiveness, and accessibility, the analysis is performed automatically and generates a report of how well your app complies with various best practices. The most basic of these, but also the most important, is the console. This is where warnings, error messages, and the output of any console log statements in your app are recorded. So let's take a look at how to access the dev tools from a browser. In most browsers, you can display the dev tools panel using the keyboard shortcut command option i. Now don't worry about remembering this combination right now. We'll include links to the dev tools documentation for the Chrome, Firefox, and Safari browser in the show notes. So now, let's open up a sample application and use the Command Option I keyboard shortcuts to open up DevTools. We're using the Chrome browser, and you can see that it opened up the console log in the right-hand side of the screen. So in addition to the console log, there are other, other DevTools options you can select to display different kinds of information and even manipulate different kinds of information within your application, such as CSS attributes. Uh, you can actually interact to execute JavaScript code within the console log as well. There's a lot of information available, and you can consult the documentation for your browser to find out how to use it. That's it for now. We hope this has been useful and that it will give you a head start on debugging your applications in the browser. You can use these resources to learn more about the various dev tool capabilities and options that are part of your favorite browser. We'll see you next time.